Breaking overnight, protesters clash with police in downtown Las Vegas. If you're looking at video of that happening, some protesters threw bottle wa uh, water bottles rather at police. Officers then deployed tear gas to disperse the crowd. Those protests, of course, were against the death of George Floyd at the hands of Minnesota police. They've been ongoing now for several days across our country. Thank you for being with us this morning. I'm Alex Backus, and for Bianca, we're now seeing the aftermath of those protests and several businesses are damaged this morning. Our Joe Moeller is live now downtown with the very latest. Good morning, Joe. Hey, good morning, Alex. Yeah, that protest now over, and we're getting a look at what happened last night to some of the destruction this morning. We're seeing graffiti all over buildings and some broken windows. We're at the Easy Pond at Carson Avenue and Las Vegas Boulevard. You can see this window here just smashed in. And if we take a, a short walk right over here, the front doors to this business here are broken as well. And some of our crews were here last night and saw uh, some items being taken from this. Now, let's go ahead and uh, pull in the video from last night. Thousands flooded downtown streets as it got later in the night. It got even more chaotic. A Metro police car was even lit on fire. Metro police officers and tactical gear formed a line on the streets going face to face with protesters. Some protesters started throwing water bottles. Our crews saw officers put on their face masks and then throw what seemed to be tear gas or pepper spray into the crowd. People immediately started running in all directions. We're here listening to families that have been impacted by mass incarceration and by police killing folks. They're not letting us, they're not letting them speak. All right, as for this morning, we uh, took a look around, taking a look at what was left behind down Fremont. I counted at least four different shops with busted windows. Several businesses were covered in graffiti, including the El Cortez. Now, back at here live, we didn't uh, shoot much of that graffiti because a lot of it is profanity. You can see it on windows, you can see it on murals downtown. So it's a lot of it you can't just show because there's a lot of uh, profanity on those, those signs. But as far as arrests, uh, they have not released how many arrests were made last night. Police estimate that there was between 1,500 and 2,000 protesters. Reporting live in downtown Las Vegas, Jumble, 8 News Now. Joe, I'll be happy you really quickly. You know, businesses, a lot of them were forced to close last night because of these protests, and unfortunately, they're going to go back today and see damage. Are you seeing anyone out there yet that's assessing the damage? Yeah, well, last night we saw a number of uh, posts on social media of businesses closing due to this protest, and a lot of them boarded up windows. But we were seeing some uh, one business owner I actually talked to. He didn't want to go on camera. He explained he just wanted to get his business cleaned up. There was uh, pots that were broken outside with flowers in it. There was uh, some chairs thrown, some different items in the street. So as you can imagine, they're just trying to get get back to normal for their businesses. But a lot of uh, owners not down here just yet. So a lot of them will see the graffiti that is there on, uh, on Fremont this morning. But I'm sure. Throughout the day, a lot of people will be helping out with the cleanup. Back to you. Yeah, that's too bad to see. All right, Joe, thanks for that reporting.